Christians semblances of favor but I think for the average believer the operation of favor is largely haphazard if it happens that's fine we give God glory but there is no predictability in our experience of favor and it ought not to be so so I believe that the Lord put it in the heart of his servant to call forth a convergence like this to help believers understand this subject because we live in times where we need this understanding and we need the experience i honor and i salute every servant of god who has contributed in ways great and small to our understanding i pray that the lord will help us again in jesus name amen and amen let's start from ephesians ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 let's look at the word of god ephesians 1 and verse 3 ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 apostle paul was teaching the church in ephesus and he said blessed be the god and the father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in christ this is a very powerful information so he says that god through christ has given us access to every spiritual blessing not some we have been given access to every spiritual blessing through christ but the bible says that these blessings still reside in heavenly places in christ hallelujah this is a very important information john chapter 10 and verse 10 jesus again was teaching and he said the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy and then he says i am come that ye may have life and that you have that life more abundantly right so it's very important for us to get this as a background please write this down the life of the natural man is largely based on the law of time and chance the life of the natural man is largely based on the law of time and chance according to ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 11 the a parts that means one who is a natural man unassisted by his union with christ his life largely subscribes to the law of time and chance hallelujah are we together now so the the law of time and chance means nothing unusual happens to you um what happens to you is that which is common to all men are we together please pay attention the law of time and chance does not require you being born again does not require you being a privileged person there are certain things that naturally for as long as you are part of this time frame eventually it will happen to you an example under normal circumstances biological growth are we together now yes the law of time and chance that means the natural man by default does not have anything that should make his life an advantage are we together there is nothing captured in the life of the natural man that should make his life uncommon that should make his life an advantage because all that he has to leverage on is the law of time and chance and the bible says it happened to them all that means there is no basis for uniqueness there is no basis for anything special please pay attention when we get saved and come into the kingdom life the bible lets us know that among the many things that we receive when we come into christ is that life that zoe life the very life of god 
John chapter 3 and verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have. Now you know it's more than everlasting life. I think I may have made mention of this in this church, I, I, if I recall, that what God gave us is more than everlasting life. It was a limitation in the translation of that word. Zoe is more than an everlasting life because even those who die without Christ have everlasting life. It's just location, not possibility. They will continue living. Hallelujah. So the life God gave us is more than everlasting. It's a quality of life. And Paul begins to describe the riches of that quality that that life affords you the privilege to access heavenly blessings given from the father through the office of christ we are really examining the foundation for subjects like favor and so on and so forth are we following now first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 the Bible says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us by God. Are we together now? That means when you become a recipient of this life by faith, among the many privileges that this affords you is the ministry of the Holy Spirit who now works in partnership with the word of God to begin to unveil to you the riches and the blessedness of that which the life has been, that which is contained in this life you have received. Because just because you have received the life does not mean you are aware of the vastness and the riches of all that that life captures. You must be enlightened. Are we together now? Please, you need to understand that accessing the riches of redemption is knowledge dependent. More than desire dependent, it is knowledge dependent. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18, it says, Having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their minds or their hearts. That means if you lack knowledge and you lack understanding, you can be alienated from the experience of this Zoe life. Even though it is a fact that in Christ, you have been given access to that life alongside the provisions that come with that life. Did the Bible not say an heir for as long as he's a child? He says he differed not from a slave, even though he be Lord of all. So the experience of that child, one who is part of the fold, a beneficiary of the inheritance, and one who is a hireling, their experiences will be the same. Why? The gap is knowledge. So let's settle it for a fact that the natural man does not have any possibility of outsourcing any advantage by himself. The natural life of the fallen man does not capture within it any advantage whatsoever if for any reason your life must capture anything that looks like an advantage it must be outsourced from a realm that is beyond the natural realm that's what i'm trying to say whether it is diabolic in context or spiritual sponsored by the holy ghost anytime you see any natural life manifesting superhuman advantages it already reveals to you that that individual knowingly or knowingly has fraternized with a dimension beyond the natural realm because by the natural realm the only possibility here are the things that are common to men are we learning but then that I said, if you come into Christ by reason of the new birth experience, you are given this life. And he says that that life captures possibilities. Among them, access to the spirit of truth. Are we together now? Who the Bible declares that when he, the spirit of truth, is come, that he will guide you into all truth. So even though you have truth, you must be guided for it to benefit you. 
Just because it is truth does not mean it will bless you. Are we together now? Write this down. The awareness of the blessings of redemption alone will not bring us into the experience the awareness of the blessings of redemption alone will not bring us into the experience we need understanding we need understanding that means just being aware that the life of God given to me is superior higher than the natural life that the life given to me captures within it possibilities including favor awareness does not translate into experience it takes understanding understanding means you must maintain the faculty and the fortitude of comprehension exactitude you must you must understand the dynamics of making that which was finished in christ to become your experience here and now if you're with me say amen now please look up one of the blessings that is captured in the kingdom life is the privilege of exerting dominion over time exerting dominion over situations and circumstances i call them systems of advantage that means when you come into christ among the many possibilities that are contained in this faith life is the ability to find your way out of any situation there are instruments that have been deposited on our path in christ that if and when discovered now begins to provide an extraordinary life that means by default by the natural man the life and the template of the natural man nothing unusual should happen in my life are we together but now i get saved and in getting saved i discover that the economy of god runs in a way that if i walk in compliance with the word of god i will start meeting certain things on the way that must make my life unusual one of them is called favor it is not the only system of advantage mercy is a system of advantage speed is a system of advantage restoration is a system of advantage they are all scattered on your way so that as you walk with the holy spirit you will start colliding with these possibilities and the narrative of your life will start changing to that of a human being who is not a pure human being it becomes very clear and evident to all that someone else is supporting this journey you are no longer alone are you getting me now so regardless my background if you are to predict my future based on my background if you are to factor in the 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 revelation that i i was not born naturally in christ you now look at my background you can accurately predict my future and you will be right because there should be nothing no wow factor contained there except that when i meet christ the moment i come into the faith life the holy spirit begins to guide me there are riches and treasures that if and when my destiny collides with them it will begin to produce a certain kind of man that must compel the attention of all and sundry it becomes clear that this one is not a man walking alone again there is a system of advantage that has come to him hallelujah naturally speaking if i want to call someone from another state unassisted the only way to do that is to trek or walk and get to that location and meet the person and talk into his ears because the only part of him that can hear me is his ears and since his ears are not in close proximity but then someone can now assist me by giving me a phone what have you done you have created an advantage to my life i have redeemed time i don't need to run to that man and meet him imagine if you were in london but that you can give me a phone that is so efficient with one dial i have access to the same ears 
are we together so the person who began to trek in hope that he would talk to that man three days ago and me who now has access to a phone i would talk and we will be gisting for hours and you see how unfair life becomes relative to that man's experience it is nothing unusual about me i have accessed something my assignment this night is to stand in partnership with the holy spirit and hand over something to your life that you can hold and surround your life with and your results will begin to change in a way that you will be you will wonder and you will marvel the faith life is not an ordinary life the kingdom life is not a mediocre life however it depends on understanding one of the many systems of advantage that have been provided by the grace and the mercy of God to help the saints excel in light, to fulfill their destinies and then to live lives that are notable and uncommon is favor. Hallelujah. To understand the subject of favor, there are three things you need to know. Please write it down. The subject of favor is built on three foundations. There are three facts that you need to know in order to really appreciate the necessity of favor. Number one, write this down please. Destiny fulfillment and results are time dependent. Destiny fulfillment slash results are time dependent dependent that means why do i need favor in my life why is favor or why should favor be such an important necessity the first reason is that destiny fulfillment and to produce result in this earth you don't have all the time destiny fulfillment is time dependent that means if time is against you john chapter 9 and verse 4 is god speaking to someone John 9 and verse 4. Let's hurry up. John chapter 9 and verse 4. Jesus is speaking now. John 9 and 4. Hallelujah. Do we have it projected? He said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. Jesus is speaking. He says, for the night cometh. In other words, fulfilling my destiny is time dependent. I do not have all the time if i do not maximize time a time will come i may not be able to fulfill destiny that means if for any reason you were designed to live say 100 years and you get born again at age 40 from a spiritual standpoint you wasted 40 years 40 years is already against you are we together now you will need a system introduced to your life that can remedy for that 40 years destiny actualization is time dependent ecclesiastes chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 popular scripture ecclesiastes 12 1 and 2 it says remember now your creator in the days of your youth before the difficult days come and the years draw near when you say i have no pleasure in them verse 2 it says while the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are not darkened and the clouds do not return after the rain do you know what he's saying he's saying remember your creator maximize your life when all of those elements are supporting you because a time will come they will not always support you if you want to dry your clothes and have it dried very fast, you take an advantage of a provision already called the sun. Is that true? When the sun is shining brightest, you come quickly. If you need water in your buckets, you take advantage of the rain. You don't necessarily create it. You just discern and take advantage of them when they come. There is what we call in this side of the world, rainy season and dry season. A good farmer, is also a one who understands the seasons you need to understand that destiny fulfillment and getting results are time dependent number two 
you need to understand that destiny fulfillment and getting results are also men dependent psalms 115 and verse 16 what does that mean to obtain results and to actualize your destiny you will need men this is the world of men it says the heaven even the heavens are the lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men that means if anything must happen in this side of god's kingdom you cannot do it in isolation with the uh, cooperation of a man are we learning now fulfilling your destiny and producing results in this kingdom is men dependent that means just like i think it was it was pastor jerry who was sharing not too long and he said it's possible for someone to not like you you know that ordinarily unassisted you are in trouble what if that man is a gatekeeper gatekeepers are people you cannot cast away you don't cast them away because they control systems and structures the only way you the only thing you can do with them is god will give you favor with them when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes those kinds of enemies to be at peace with you they are not the ones you cast because they are gatekeepers how do you cast pharaoh out of egypt when god wants to help you come out of that prison he will make pharaoh like you but to pray that pharaoh will leave egypt is not a wise prayer because egypt belongs to him is under his influence are you learning now destiny fulfillment is men dependent number three the third fact you need to know that necessitates studying the subject of favor is that the whole world lies in wickedness under the siege of satan the whole world lies in wickedness first john 5 19 very quickly first john 5 19 shalakos kebriandagada it says we know that we are of god and the whole world is under the sway of the wicked one that's nkjv if i can have king james that would be fine it says the whole world lieth in wickedness the whole world means everywhere including your neighborhood including the nation you seek to go to the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness that means there is no physical place of escape that exempts you from the possibility of wickedness provided you are alive there must then be a divine factor that immunes you above and against this reality first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 apostle peter is teaching us now first peter 5 8 he says be sober be vigilant be sober and be vigilant he says because your adversary the devil is as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour so this these are facts they let you know that satan is not sitting idle he's not in one place he's roaming around looking for any destiny that looks like christ so that he will waste it and that includes yours are we together the revelation of favor is built upon these realities that number one let me recap again the first basis for desiring favor is that to fulfill your destiny you need to sustain the ability to have dominion over time because destiny is time dependent then destiny fulfillment is also man dependent if you have time and no man can help you within that time you will still waste destiny and then if you have time and you have men and the realm of the spirit satan who is the adversary comes he can still make you destroy destiny please believe what i'm teaching you i know what i'm saying what then is favor what is favor 
to be favored means to be given unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access please write it down to be favored means to be given unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access that is what it means to be favored if these three things are not captured in your life you are not favored maybe you have breakthrough unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access these are the tripartite scriptural proof of favor in the life of a man so when you say i am favored we don't need to argue prophetically yes but in experience we will vet you from the lens of unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access this is what god is doing in the life of someone pastor jerry prophesied so lavishly from the depth of his heart let me join my faith with him and your your man of god to declare over you these three things in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god from tonight that grace that makes for unusual kindness receive it right now unusual acceptance receive it right now unusual access receive it right now please sit down hallelujah immediately you know the definition of this favor are we together aha uh -huh. you can know that this favor is at work in my life by also having unusual an unusual dimension of rejection an unusual dimension of closed doors empty-handedness these are biblical indices so that this teaching now leaves us in two categories you can know without confusion whether favor is working in your life in experience or otherwise favor unusual kindness is there any man in the house of saul that i may show him kindness for jonathan's sake unusual acceptance how do you promote joseph who is in egypt knowing he's not an egyptian he said i am pharaoh and only by my word only in the throne will you be second to me immediately blessed him gave him all kinds of things unusual access access to anything that reaches the hearts of people when it was time for nehemiah to build he went and met a king and the king not only approved but he gave him the resources unusual access for someone in the name of jesus after tonight it will be as if you are dreaming you will find out that in a very strange way hear me you may have heard me teach that everything you are looking for is also looking for you but not this version of you mm -mm. It will keep passing this version of you and is still finding another version of you may that version of you emerge tonight please sit down unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access jesus who grew in favor himself luke 2 and 52 the bible says and jesus increased in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men he proved the validity of favor in his life by asking someone to go to a road where the streets divide he says you will see a colt that no man had ridden on that means there are people carrying things they've not been permitted to enjoy it because they are keeping it for certain people a call that no man including the owner had not ridden on it yet he was taking care of it he said lose that coat and bring it and if anyone should ask you tell them it's not that i'm a thief the master had need of it 
I am the real owner of that. You are only a caretaker keeping it. That means there are people holding things. You have even seen some of them, but it's not for them. They don't know why they cannot enjoy it. And yet they take care of it because they are waiting a mantle that must come upon your head so that they release it to you. And in the name of Jesus, I prophesy by the power that raised Christ from the dead, whatever must come upon your head to make what is yours to come to you. Let it come right now in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 39. Is God speaking to us? Hmm. Genesis 39, 1 to 4. Let's hurry up so that we can redeem time. The Bible says, And, Je and Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, the officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, the Egyptian, brought him of the hands of Ishmaelites, and they brought him down Tetha. We're reading to verse 4, please. It says, And the Lord was with Joseph. Is that in your Bible? It says, And he was a prosperous man. He was in the house of his master, the Egyptians. 3 and 4. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And the Lord had made all that he did to prosper in his hands. Verse 4. And Joseph found grace in his sight. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house. And he that had put his hands. Listen. Anywhere you see favor, check it by the indices I've given you. Unusual kindness. Unusual acceptance. Unusual access. Here you see it in the life of, Je of Joseph. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Popular scripture. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass, 321, that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has a spiritual explanation. When you see a man's hand empty, you have the hands to receive, yet nothing is coming on it. There is an explanation lack of kindness lack of acceptance lack of access please don't forget this teaching tonight burn it into your spirit kindness acceptance and access ezra chapter 7 and verse 6 ezra chapter 7 and verse 6 Ezra chapter 7 and Ezra went up from Babylon and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses which the Lord God of Israel had given the Bible says and the king granted all his requests how many do you still see the formula again unusual kindness unusual acceptance unusual what I'm teaching you is a revelation that the Spirit of God gave me on favor the king granted him all his requests, but the request was according to the hand of the Lord upon him, not according to what the king wanted. There was something on him that was making the king answer everything he said. Read it carefully. The request was granted according to the hand of the Lord upon him. If that hand lifted, the king would say, you are crazy. What did I say yesterday? I've changed my mind. Ah, may something come on you I repeat again in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the world is too wicked for you to indefinitely have unusual kindness too wicked for you to indefinitely have unusual acceptance too wicked for you to have unusual access men are not even that emotionally stable to give you the guarantee that every day you come there has to be a factor that is greater than emotions that will compel men regardless their vacillations to give you the same result it's called favor now listen very carefully I want to lovingly make a bit of adjustment for a long time in the body of Christ we have taught that the only scope and dimension of favor in its definition is unmerited access and that is not wrong 
are we together but to to say favor is unmerited um it is not exactly right the moment you say favor is unmerited it takes away the responsibility dimension from you i can tell you favor is merited are we together the only dimension and expression of favor that is unmerited is favor that is um that is captured in the redemption of man and that is in that we could not die for ourselves but even at that there is still a responsibility to receive are we together now let me show you the secret of favor proverbs 13 15 you're going to read it loud from the depth of your spirit are you ready it's projected if you're a christian and you believe the bible please read it very loud ready one to read uh-huh one more time shout the first two words please one to go one one more time the last time that means there is bad understanding bad understanding is understanding that leads to the outcome you did not desire bad understanding the bible says good understanding give it favor like you say a woman gave birth to a child is that true so now in this example good understanding and transgression are like two pregnant women please look up that good understanding is like a pregnant woman when she gives birth to a child the name of that child is favor transgression is also a pregnant woman when she gives birth to a child the name of the child is called hardship hardship is a child don't blame the child the mother gave birth to the child when your life is hard don't blame the child called hardship blame the mother that keeps giving birth to that child theoretically speaking every woman should be able to give birth to as many children is that true don't joke with that woman who gives birth to hardship she is very fruitful there is no barrenness with transgression you put a seed there your child is coming unfortunately this child does not wait for nine months it can come in one day mm. good understanding like a pregnant woman gives birth and when you come you name you come and meet the child already named you are not the one who names the child that naming ceremony comes directly from heaven the child has been named before arrival and a good understanding is such a fruitful woman she can give birth every day in fact you know it is favor if it happens more than once if it happens only once it is breakthrough not favor the proof of favor is the ability to make it repetitive regardless the surrounding conditions yes, sir. from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai. from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed please sit down my apologies i may not have the time to deal with this in details so i'll just touch one or two things and then we'll pray so that we can retreat for the night but do not forget what i've taught you favor if it is favor this tripartite realities must be captured in it unusual kindness unusual acceptance unusual because we are going to pray this this night if you have unusual kindness alone it's not favor uh -uh. if you have unusual acceptance alone it is not favor i can accept you and never bless you 
if you have unusual access alone you will remain a caretaker access to things you can never possess unusual kindness unusual acceptance ah somebody came to church tonight to learn something that you will carry and write this date and say i found the key after 20 years you come and meet pastor and say sir i came for this conference recharge and i found an authoritative scriptural definition of favor unusual kindness unusual acceptance unusual so next time you say a man is favored don't be in a hurry to say so check do you find unusual repetitive kindness repetitive acceptance repetitive access you will be learning that the greatest access is not access to resources it's access to the hearts of kings can i tell you the truth it is easier to open a treasury than to open the heart of a king whatever can make the heart of a king be open towards you is greater than the safe in a bank hmm. write this down please you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life god is responsible for creating that idea and he's done so in christ but you are responsible say in the name of jesus shout it please say in the name of jesus i take responsibility and i activate the flow of favor the flow of unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access in my life and my destiny i want to run with you right now six keys i may not have the time to explain them if you hold these keys you will hang them like trophies and like badges symbols of honor as you triumph from one realm of glory and victory even to another i stand by the god of heaven who helps men and i give you a guarantee if you lend me your attention for the next five minutes and hold on to these keys some of you after the grace you will run out of this church and you'll be shouting like a madman they say what happened did you get a job you say i will not rejoice for just a job that this kind of joy is not for a job this kind of joy is that i have found something i found your word and i did eat it he said it was a joy except you don't find it if you have found it this is the factor that has bailed men build men out of the wickedness build men out of the limitations of background limitations of culture can i tell you the good land is sitting on these three things unusual kindness unusual acceptance this is beyond a man of god salmon even your brain can relate to what i'm saying this is not just a spiritual thing you can know intellectually and spiritually that there's no favor in your life and you can know intellectually and spiritually that favor has come you can know the arrival of favor you can know the activation of favor let me tell you this when favor arrives it starts work immediately favor is one of those spiritual qualities that does not waste time as it arrives it gets to work including this night did you hear me i said including this night including this night favor is a diligent worker it delivers the moment it arrives I'm about to unveil six keys but please lay your hands on your head and I want you to declare 
father this is the list of my level in life and destiny as far as manifesting destiny is concerned and being part of your program for my life these keys i receive them into my spirit someone who came to church pray from the depth of your heart someone following online watching by television here is god delivering to you a system a major system of advantage one more minute one more minute i assure you you are not wasting your time some of you your prayers of 2015 2016 2017 is being answered in one sermon pray don't be distracted whether you're a man of god whether you're a businessman whether you're a politician the lord wants something to rest once and for all forget about your background forget about what was working or not working in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now please i want you to sit down and with the rapt attention that elisha gave elijah i want you to pay attention as i unveil to you these six keys they came by study by learning from people who are carriers of favor with proof because there are some them the bible says we should follow that to follow them who through faith and patience not storytellers not assumers people with proof number one now that we have agreed that favor can be activated let me run the keys with you the first key that activates favor in the life of any man regardless the situation is honor key number one honor please write it down there are people who will never experience favor in their life believe me because they have not learned the power of honor what is honor honor is the discerning honor is the celebrating and where applicable the rewarding of men for their uniqueness if you do not master honor you can be a child of god and you will fall short of the potentials as far as working in this system of advantage is concerned honor is the discerning honor is the celebrating and honor is the rewarding of men for their uniqueness hmm. romans 13 7 media please help us very quickly romans 13 7 it says render therefore to all their dues is that in your bible tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom fear to whom fear honor to whom honor there are people deserving of honor there are many preachers businessmen career people young people who remain grounded listen the anointing of the holy spirit was only supposed to fight what was caused by demons so before you introduce the anointing of the spirit to fight over something be sure that the problem was caused by demons because if it is God himself fighting you, the anointing will not solve the problem. Hmm. You don't know God fights men? Is it not in your Bible that God himself resists the proud? There are many people whose resistance today is not just caused by witches and wizards before they arrived they found you already resisted they only joined the resistance that was happening so even if they are casted away you will still find out that the situation is there because there is a fundamental spiritual law fighting you let me tell you this spiritual laws are vicious warriors 
they do not die they do not fear when a spiritual law is fighting you only god in partnership with your obedience and his mercy can bail you out you cannot cast away laws please listen please listen listen and thank your man of god and his dear wife for investing in your spirit honor we live in a world where we are experts as downplaying the sacrifices of people you see people who have invested time energy and saying oh, they were just lucky they were just fortunate you see let me tell you this dishonor is a sound in the realm of the spirit and there are forces there are spiritual immigration officers assigned to detect it whether it is done in the secret or done in the open you are trying to be a billionaire and you see a billionaire who started his story by sleeping on the ground and you do not know the various forces he combined to rise you just say all these corrupt people foolish people that sound is registered in the realm of the spirit and any day you want to open the realm of wealth that book of remembrance is open this guy based on his dishonor is not authorized access remember favor again unusual access please listen very carefully there are many people who want to walk in certain dimensions but they never honor and appreciate those who are carrying that grace they just feel what is there i want to walk in the healing anointing and yet anything that looks like a healing anointing i just insult it i want i'm trusting god to get a great place like this what is there the good land maybe they just gave him i'm sure somebody just sowed a seed you see let me tell you the truth whether you say it to his hearing or you say it in the secret the laws of the spirit don't sleep i want you to know why many people have programmed woes over their lives they are carrying self-inflicted causes by reason of dishonor especially this our generation of young people who don't have any regard for successful people anybody just feels oh no this one yeah nothing is really working it's just like that please practice honor your mother and your father the bible says honor your your father and your mother that it may be well with you and that you may live long you will be surprised you may be looking at your mother feeling she didn't go to school she's not your kind you've traveled abroad one day you will come and package something and say mama i just want to honor you and she may just laugh casually and say where i failed may you never fail as simple as that is is a blessing that is released through honor registered in the realm of the spirit and it will follow you where your mother failed if it was delay that kept her down when delay comes to you her prophetic word will stand as a gate this person should not go through this you have access to speed by reason of honor i'm, I'm showing you how spiritual laws work he told job he said knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth they know not he says neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and the foundations of the earth are out of course honor number two the second key that activates the flow of favor are you ready for this integrity please write it down integrity proverbs 27 integrity integrity comes from the word integer it means sameness unbendedness integrity it says the just man walketh in his integrity his children are blessed after him his children there does not just mean his biological children your child is anything that comes out of you your ideas your inventions it says because you walk in your integrity anything that comes out of you is empowered to prosper there are many believers who do not have integrity and yet we continue to claim favor and hope it will work no number three for sake of time good understanding bring it favor but the way of the transgressor the transgressor is not a sinner the transgressor is a perpetual violator of god's principles are you ready the third key that activates favor in the life of an individual is called value and contribution proverbs 18 16 value and contribution 
I can assure you to the degree to which you are valuable and you contribute to the well-being of men spiritually economically sociologically that is the degree to which you drive this favor from your life please read with me what is written here let's hurry up we have just a few minutes ready one to read a man's gift will make room for him he didn't say we'll bring him before men your gift is a promoter it can bring you before a class of people called great men hallelujah a man's gift spiritually a man's gift intellectually a man's gift economically a man's gift all wise what is your gift anything that constitutes an advantage in your life and can be deployed to be a blessing is a gift how many believers want favor in their life and they ignore it and yet you find out that there are people who may subscribe to this you do not see a gifted man who loves god and has refined his ability with honor and dignity and then leave that person in shame it may not always be so i'm showing you the keys please do not forget number one honor number two integrity number three value and contribution in most corporations when they are downsizing people they use the index of competence and capacity permanent of who stays or who goes hmm. number four the fourth key to activating favor in the life of a man is the power of relationships you are as favored as your relationships it is true the word be fruitful means be relational you cannot be fruitful without being relational please listen very carefully i submit to you that in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but in this world of men who likes you matters are we together the king hates a woman and she stops being queen almost immediately because one man not god oh, a king hated vashti and that was the end of her story and then the king decides to like a village girl called hadassah from shushan and she becomes queen and remains queen the king decides to like a wicked man called her man and he remains at his chamber even though he was a wicked man but he was a victim of the love of the king the king decides to not really like a man called Mordecai even though he was a righteous and a good man and yet he remained at the gate the day the king switched they also switched listen the heaven of heavens are the Lord's but the earth has he given to the sons of men there are people today whose prayer request of decades was answered at the instance of a relationship everything in this kingdom operates on the strength of your relationship first your relationship with god through his spirit your relationship with mentors fathers your relationship with strategic destiny helpers you are as strong as your connections strategic relationships hallelujah this is very powerful when god wants to bless you among the many ways he blesses you is to shorten the distance between you and the relationship that connects you to the next level let me ask you an honest question is there someone in your life today that you can call at any time and tell him I need help and you say right away over my dead body to watch you in this situation and not arise for you if you do not have such a person let me give you a prayer point use July and pray and say Lord I, I, out of 7.6 billion people I am not that evil nobody considers me to be such a blessing that I am worth their waking up in the night there are people who may not have money but they are wealthier than those who have money because everybody who has money likes them
are we together relationships is the hardest is the hardest spiritual currency that we use to purchase things because you are as powerful as your relationship even when you fail is because of your relationship if you go to hell is because of your relationship if you go to heaven relationship is that powerful it is valid even after this life can i tell you those who hate everybody and say me is just the holy spirit i'm working with and you hate men you don't greet anybody you are not friendly you don't care when god pushes there i don't care i will i will win alone with god you are right but your victory will remain in the realm of the spirit if it must find expression here ask the angel what he was doing with mary as powerful as god is he had to come through an angel and humble himself and explain politely to mary mary said how shall these things be you need the partnership of my womb you need to give me an explanation he didn't annoy her she had to say be it unto me otherwise he would have gone through another laborious journey of looking for another virgin if god humbled himself to honor men who are you to dishonor them you see some of this church thing we carry is why we keep suffering for nothing angels don't sign signatures they are signed by men one person can sign the 10 years of your life please assist and that's it listen if you walk back home tonight learning this because some of you may need to call some people and say sorry yo, i came to church there are listen i wish i had the time i would have shown you from genesis 12 pastor that god called abraham and promised him everything from 12 verse 1 and 2 and asked him to leave and go he called an idol worshiper from all of the chaldeans is that true and he said he should go to a land and the bible says lot went with him god didn't call lot god didn't say find somebody to assist you lord said i had that something was coming on your head and i will be foolish enough to follow by the time we get to genesis 13 we don't know who was blessed and who tapped from who because both the blessed one and the person who followed by relationship had the same thing they got to a point where their men started fighting but the foolishness of lot was he forgot that it was relationship the bible says abraham met him and said we be brethren let us not fight choose for yourself because for me location does not matter i'm the one carrying it but you choose anywhere lot did not discern what abraham was saying please listen we're wrapping up and the bible says lot looked at a place it was lush near sodom the first decision lot took without the support of his relationship ended him in trouble by the time abraham will come to rescue him he was still the same relationship he met him at the center of sodom he was still um in touch with the god of heaven yet he was a victim of the absence of relationship even the god he was serving needed to bring a relationship to rescue him can i tell you there are people you should never allow yourself fight with swallow your pride and say sorry they are too important to allow ego push them out of your life you will suffer in a way it will look as if god does not exist this is the foolishness that's respectfully speaking there are many people today who are ordained for greatness but lack of this wisdom what is there with my let me tell you what the one of the the classic ways that the devil destroys people and makes them to abort their destinies listen please listen deliverance 101 when satan wants to attack you the first thing he does is to scan around your spiritual environment who is strong enough loving enough to bail you out he will create something between you and them and cut you away from them as at the time is happening you will not know that the goal is not that conflict the goal is an eventual attack on your life or your business when he uses your dishonor to cut you away from every person then he now attacks you because in your pride you may not be able to rush and go back again and so you stay there pick a hot coal from fire 
and just drop it don't pour water don't do anything what happens to it it starts going down the fire is because of the togetherness there are people as soon as they got a job the holy spirit spoke to them oh make sure you listen to your pastor what do i listen again and you are just laughing the devil is planning to attack you and he makes you to downplay and trivialize the relationship god has connected you to listen when hagar left home hagar left home in anger because you remember what was happening and she was right because sarah was jealous and angry let me tell you this when the lord met her in the desert remember her baby was crying she was crying do you know what the lord told her he said go back and submit to your mistress ah, ah. god did you not see all the shouting and the headache that woman was giving me he said if you want to prosper go back submit yourself to your mistress for someone this is your message tonight go back go back you can be in this church respectfully speaking and not be genuinely connected god is speaking to you go back go back means sit tonight and say who is this man that god brought to my life he may be laughing with me every day we may be hugging ourselves we may even be eating hallelujah one of the reasons why i have profound regard for the woman of god is because of her recognition that although maritally she is his wife but she realizes when that grace comes and she opens up her heart to receive it let me tell you a story i have just about eight minutes and we'll pray listen carefully true story many years ago i was in a conference and then a man of god shared this story what was the story that in a church like this the man of god and his wife things were not happening in their lives at all favor zero in their family yet in the church doors were opening people would come and testify pastor prayed for me and because you see the anointing upon you does not work for you until you become a you humble yourself the same way a member humbles themselves that's the only reason the anointing will work on you the anointing that is upon your office does not respond to um you, just because you are the carrier no listen the tanker that carries foil it does not foil it from the tanker it must kill too to receive the foil even though it is a tanker carrying the foil so don't you say that i'm carrying the anointing it will work for me i listen to my own messages and i get down on my knees and i lift my hands when that man of god is prophesying let me finish my story hmm. so one time they were how could you be excelling in church you will speak over people but at home things were going down one day it was a service like this pastor true story and the man of god's wife got up and just walked out imagine the woman of god just getting up to walk out ah, people wonder and say what happened even him he was concerned he finished service very quickly finished counseling and he rushed home honey what is wrong did i say something did i did i do something on stage she didn't answer a word he sat down at the table to eat and the next thing she came to serve his meal and he noticed the tray had changed he said what is all this one we've been married for how many years let's please bring food for me i'm, I'm you know and she brought a different kind of cup brought everything until she dropped the last item and she got down on her knees she said servant of god my home is in trouble the man said suddenly the same anointing he felt on the pulpit came there and he laid hands this is his wife but she said i have not been enjoying the grace upon this man of god because all he has been to me is my husband listen all men are multi-dimensional the part you relate with is the part that blesses you if you relate with your brother alone the man of god can be a prophet but the only thing you will get from a brother is stories about how the family is faring that is a brother's reward is someone learning now 
how many people are making maximum impact across the globe and yet some of the closest people to them only know them as friends classmates tribesmen colleagues relationships are powerful but beware of the dimension you are relating with relate with all the possible dimensions invested in that man that makes for your glory are we together <laughs> blessed be the name of the lord number five what is the fifth key to activating favor favor provoking prayers i sat at the rotunda and i listened to pastor jerry as he prayed and just prophesied and he was speaking from the depth of his heart i said oh dear look how powerful this is you can use prayers to provoke favor psalm 23 you read from verse 4 to 6 but verse 6 for sake of time psalm 23 it says surely everybody say surely. surely i am not doubting this one surely with certainty goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life not 30 years into my life and it will stop all the days he says and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever you can turn that into a favor provoking prayer surely goodness and mercy shall follow me listen you can pray your way i prayed for one month pastor it was a february from february 1st till the 28th of that february that year i prayed favor every day when it came i knew it had come you can pray favor lord i'm tired of this situation something has to change it is not my background i reject it you are praying from the depth of your heart you hold hands with your wife you hold hands with your business partner you hold hands with your prayer partner and you pray you will be surprised how things begin to change let me give you the final one the final key to receiving favor and activating it is impartation impartation oh yes impartation impartation is a big mystery philippians chapter 1 and verse 7 we're wrapping up now impartation philippians 1 7 apostle paul was speaking and he said ye are all partakers of my grace ye are all partakers of my grace when you study esther chapter 2 you will find out that many young ladies were called they were about to go and present themselves can you imagine how many ladies and only one person the king was going to choose all the ladies must have been learning all the things they believed they would do in front of the king the bible says esther met Haggai, who was the keeper of the king's virgins and she gave him a certain she gave her a certain kind of oil he said i know the king i know what he wants keep rubbing this oil on your body for one year go and stand before him there was a certain kind of oil that esther began to rob give us esther 2 verse 15 please esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the bible says and esther obtained favor please be sensitive now i just have like four minutes but something is going to come on people now and esther obtained favor in the sight of how many i forgot to tell you favor works with the power of sight when favor is at work in you the only person who may not be able to help you is a blind man but for as long as they can set their eyes on you it's in your bible she obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 esther 2 and 17 even the king could not resist it and the king loved esther above all that means before she came there were others he was considering as soon as she arrived 
everything that had happened before her arrival did not matter again the bible says she obtained grace and favor in the sight more than all the virgins impartation can i tell you there is a real grace for favor believe me when i tell you when the grace for favor comes upon you it works like hiv hiv is not what kills you hiv opens the door and keeps it open for any other sickness that's how favor works so favor opens the door speed you can come in breakthrough you can come in whatever it is you can come in the assignment of favor is to keep the door of kindness the door of acceptance and the door of access open is someone ready to open that door jump up on your feet from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be alone Adonai. from the rising to the setting of now please listen according to isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8 every time god releases an anointing upon one person it was never supposed to remain with that one person when he sends a word to jacob it is because he intends it to be lightened upon israel in the next i know that our time is gone but one minute what did you put oh god upon this man that you brought him even to the good land and gave him this estate what did you put upon this woman of god what did you put upon every vessel that has preached here i open up my spirit it's time to receive go ahead and pray that grace for favor someone pray someone pray someone pray you can carry walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost I am favored. Pray. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. One more time, someone is praying. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. What then is the anointing for favor? The anointing of favor is the anointing for kindness provoking unusual kindness provoking unusual acceptance i'm about to speak over your life our time is gone but hear me by the spirit of god i'm standing in partnership with the grace upon the angel of this house and his wife that if you can believe with childlike faith in addition to all the graces that i've spoken over you you will marvel and wonder at what god does are you ready to receive in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Listen, listen. In the parable of the ten virgins, please listen, listen. In the parable of the ten virgins, there was nothing wrong with their lamp. The problem was the oil. Their lamps were still fine. The lamp does not burn on its own. It burns because of the oil that is there. And the foolish ones now said, please give me of your oil. And he said, no, we will have insufficiency ourselves, but we have an advice for you. 
he says go to them that sell and buy please hear me there are them that sell you don't buy it with money you buy it with discernment you buy it with honor you buy it with meekness you buy it with open-heartedness go to them that sell there are men of god who need to go to them that sell there are businessmen who need to go to them that sell how do you know them that sell you know them that sell by the results that surrounds their life i can tell you by the privilege of god's grace standing in faith with your man of god there are them that sell you have lifted that currency of discernment you have lifted that currency of humility you have lifted that currency of meekness now you are ready to receive in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven who helps men and i speak over someone here by the power that raised christ from the dead from tonight carry the grace for unusual kindness may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ carry the grace for unusual acceptance acceptance in the east acceptance in the west acceptance in the north acceptance in the south acceptance in europe acceptance in america global acceptance receive that grace in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the son of the living god carry the grace that makes for unusual access access to resources access to men access to opportunities in the name of jesus hear me for someone here by this time tomorrow in the name of jesus the son of the living god you will come and stand here and it's your tears of joy that will be giving the testimony every man of god here woman of god who has been grounded it looks like your life is not moving forward by this force of favor i push you prophetically go forward go forward in ministry go forward in business go forward in career go forward hear me any force that has fought you before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i command that it falls like dagon before the ark and finally i stand in faith here and i decree and declare just have those under the anointing we don't have the time Every thinking like a pastor and a pastor starts thinking like a businessman when a politician starts thinking like a man of god and a man of god starts thinking there is the sharing of that understanding because they are ultimately motivated by the same goal that all men through him might believe acts chapter 1 and verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you he says there again jesus is speaking that you shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth say i am a witness the geography what you call your assignment is simply the geography of your witness if you are a man of god you are a witness using the pulpit as a platform if you are a businessman you are a witness using commerce and business and real estate and whatever it is as a platform if you are a politician you are a witness using the platform of politics and governance and the parliament as a platform are we together now if you are an academician for instance you are using the platform of academics very very important because many people you see please look up let me have your attention many people do not understand that being a witness is greater than the geography of the witness so you say i am a businessman you are right to the layman i am a preacher you are right to the layman 
I am a politician. You are right to the layman. But from a kingdom perspective, you are none of these things. You are a witness in politics. You are a witness in governance. You are a witness as a preacher. Are we together now? You are a witness as a family man, a father, a mother. You are a witness as whoever and whatever. So your witness, the consciousness of you being a validator and a defender of the claims of God is greater than the geography. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Somebody shout, I am a witness. If you understand that you are not just a businessman, but a witness as a businessman, what you will do with that money will be different from someone who is just a businessman. If you understand that you are not just a preacher, you are a witness using the platform of preaching. The way you will preach will be different. The carelessness and the recklessness that happens around, sadly, around ministry, business, politics, is because people do not understand that they are witnesses a witness is a validator that means everything you say everything you do is supposed to be proving the reality of the lordship of jesus christ is someone learning this morning hallelujah let's look at a scripture that i believe will bless you and then we'll find somewhere to tie it down for this discussion this morning the heart condition of a minister now when i say minister i mean first the fivefold ministers and then it extends to kingdom ambassadors we're all ministers you understand what i'm saying now right there is a heart requirement listen very carefully god does not just use people carelessly there is a heart condition and a heart requirement that God looks for and let me tell you this if God does not find that you will never never truly be used mightily by God most people have missed out on the opportunity to be greatly used by God because of their heart condition Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 26 Proverbs 23 and verse 26 very quickly please let's look at it proverbs 23 and verse 26 if you see it projected can you see it there please read with me let's read together one two read my son give me your heart and let your eyes observe my way please look up the first requirement is the correction and the surrender of your heart can i tell you everything you do that is right or wrong stems from your heart condition you may have heard me say it in my teachings you can fast all you want to fast you can pray all you want to pray you can do every kind of night vigil or spiritual exercise you want that the only thing that gives your spiritual exercise is credence is the state of your heart please say the state of my heart the state of your heart vetoes your fasting. The state of your heart vetoes your prayer. The state of your heart vetoes your word study. The state of your heart vetoes your good communication. Many people have every other thing in place but the state of their heart. The motivation behind your heart. The things that you do. Can I tell you? allow god in the next one minute to do a surgery in your heart there are people who got into ministry fivefold today simply because they heard that when a man preaches they give him honorarium and they feel instead of getting a job that i'll be collecting 40 40 000 where will i gather enough to build a house let me quietly go to the vineyard that corrupted motif so after three years when it looks like it's not happening it will be easy to receive power from the devil because your motivation was never to see jesus glorified 
there are others who their motivation for getting into ministry is because someone looked down on them and said you will never be great and he said i will never be great you will see and they went to answer the call other people got they submitted their job with nmpc civil defense you know all of this place and i'm not being sarcastic they didn't seem to get jobs and they say instead of wasting away at least let me be a pastor i know that there will be one member who believes in me enough to sow into my life off they go other people are in ministry just because they just feel like i love god too much and what will i do with this this amount of love i have for god i can't waste it away business is too small to express that love so let me get to ministry your the state of your heart is what gives you the staying power in ministry if the state of your heart was corrupt from beginning no matter what activity you are involved with believe me you will end up being frustrated is god speaking to someone in my experience and and many of you may have heard me say that my desire was never to be a man of god to be a preacher no no i just loved jesus with my all and sincerely in whatever capacity he wanted me to serve i would be grateful more than grateful to serve that's why it remains an honor for me today to be given the mandates that he has given me by grace and i do not toy with it because the sheer level of gratitude to be trusted with this level of grace it remains ever before me are we together the state of your heart you go and ask the lord every time i go to god in prayer i'm not praying lord more power more anointing more fame more increase thank god for those things but believe me my greatest prayer till today is lord search my heart try my thoughts and find out if there is any wicked way oh david you may never know that there is a murderer in you you see let me tell you how the heart condition works when you see god not bless and help certain people don't fight him he knows what he's doing if you saw the little david you would never know that there was a murderer hiding in that boy there are many wrong things in our heart that an opportunity has not yet been created for it to find expression but it does not mean it is not there for instance you never know whether you like women or not to you you say god for me no women may god forbid it how do they do that thing in the name of jesus christ you go and ask david you never knew that you can fight and kill because somebody called you joshua selman instead of apostle joshua selman you didn't know that there was that lust for power and honor and while you are starting god says beware work on this can i tell you whatever god tells you to work on don't argue just work on it whether you understand it or not you never knew that you could kill for money you could tell lies you never knew that you could sit down in front of a herbalist and say i'm tired of this it must work by whether if god is not going to help me if they have what the heaven helps those who you know those kinds of wise sayings that come from frustrations and now you sit down there i know you are laughing but i hope you are learning when your heart condition is wrong when christ is not the center of your heart no matter what god tells me today about my life i will not argue i will go quickly to roll before him and say lord i don't want to wait until i see it if you say it you are right let god be true and every man a liar this is a lesson for you to learn because there are many many preachers today who do not have any allowance for god to keep vetting and probing their hearts as at the time you said god i love you you've never stayed in a five-star hotel you've never flown private jet or first class or any kind of priority or superior service so it was just ignorance that was saying i love you it was not really knowledge there was nothing to lay down you were already down what are you laying down But by the time you are in the midst of plenty, 
God lifting and honoring you and helping you can you still go back and say God they may be clapping for me but here is my heart again I'm sharing with you a very deep secret more than just learning principles and principles and principles if your heart condition is wrong you will do every principle right you will be shocked it will still not work your heart condition I am ever aware of this when God begins to lift me or opens any door very quickly I go to him Lord your boy is here again with all the human tendencies people clapping calling you king of kings and lord of lords don't say it will enter you go and ask william bradham go and ask people who have gone ahead of you you rush to god and say before i destroy myself out of foolishness vet me and god says you are doing well but lost be careful it's already beginning to grow you don't say god god forbid you are rebuking god forbid no pride in the last two weeks it's like pride is already growing deal with it that spirit of competition is already at work in you the moment he comes to you like that rejoice rejoice can i tell you you may have heard it in my teachings you know a man who is a man of the secret place because you will never see any deficiency for a long time you will see this for two months pride is growing one day you will just see that it has gone you know that the secret place the place where men are changed when you see people continue to grow in certain levels of error for a long time it is because their pride has covered that aspect of them they don't give God allowance to prune it and work on it John 15 the person I love is the one that I prune so that he will bear much fruit you may not like what I'm teaching you this morning but if it's fruitfulness you want in ministry forget that pride of perfectionism go back to God in sincerity till tomorrow till forever I will never go to God with any sense of perfectionism no we live in a world where we are obsessed to look flawless before men you better go before God and roll on the ground and say God please search my heart it's not self-condemnation let people keep calling you whatever they will clap for you the day you crash they will bury you and move forward so if the heart of men, men are wicked they can clap for you and call you all kinds of things let ministry go down you will see the same people who call you king of kings who say crucify him when Benny Hinn was younger in ministry am I wasting your time when Benny Hinn was younger in ministry Marilyn Hickney told him something she said Benny if you can find five people who love you sincerely and believe in you you are about the luckiest man on earth he laughed and he told her that it was kings that receive him when he goes he goes for crusades of course i'm saying this now with all honor to him and because he has shared it himself when he had a challenge you know in ministry marriage and all of that in 24 hours half of his partners left sir half the people who are saying we will stand with you and preach the gospel with you nobody cared to verify anything everybody just went to your tent where Israel and he stood there broken with bills in debt it is painful when those who say Hosanna also say crucify him so before you allow the flattery of men to destroy you let me teach you that there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother run away from that celebrity deception and stay with the one who will stay with you no matter what happens this is a message our generation of ministers need I receive over 800 text messages every day and I thank God and I honor the Lord for all of these people I sleep and I wake up to all kinds of commendations but I can tell you I know that there is one and one alone who can accommodate all the versions of me where would I be if you left me where would I be if you left me is someone learning your heart condition that's why God can take another man's prayer request and give to one as a gift because he has found your heart condition so right I pray for myself even as I'm standing here 
with you may i never get too big that god cannot search my heart and tell me his verdict you see the person who loves you is the one who will open up to you like this because most times when we come as preachers we just patch everything and just no the secret is not just in expertise there are times where your boat is right there are times when you are at the sea where you should catch fish there are times when you have the net but you will still not catch fish it is not an error in your system there is just no fish at that point you to take a relationship with the one who can give fish there are times if your net is torn you won't catch fish but there are times all the principles are correct if there is one secret i want to teach you today about ministry there are a few other principles that are powerful but the greatest of them that i've seen in my life and believe me with all humility i know what i'm saying people call me every time and say apostle you are this you are that how come this results and i say oh dear you do not know that this man who stands before you is the puppet you are seeing there is one who is behind him there are certain things that cannot be done by men is god speaking to someone you need to allow god to vet that pride vet that whatever it is especially our generation of preachers let's be careful we live in a world that is obsessed with being celebrities yes enjoy the honor and whatever blessing that comes with ministry but please learn this about men men are very self-centered if they clap for you they are only clapping for themselves through you you're my treasure my priority who can compare to you for great is the measure of your royalty oh morning star you truly are when i learned this in life i thank god for all that represents honor that he has given to me but i have trained myself every day sometimes i stand before a mirror and looking at myself i say joshua selman you were once a baby in the hand of a woman do not let the nation celebrate you out of your secret place they were not there when god started they only met you at the corridors of greatness and they don't have enough patience to stay with you stay with the one who started with you when you did not look like it preachers some of you here are frustrating yourself and killing yourself over land and building issue leave that and go back to the secret place go back and say lord i may not have members i may not have great followership across the globe but one thing i have is you and you are that treasure are you learning lord what is it about one billion that you cannot give me and he says you are right your heart condition i love you too much to give you one billion what do you mean you love me too much when i gave you 10 million i didn't see you again you disappeared and ran away morning devotion i'm flying business class i have to hurry up and he says just because of 10 million naira no I love you too much to keep you in that state you know when people claim things in church now i'm a man of faith don't get me wrong but when people claim things you know sometimes i just watch with wonder and i say what do you think god is a robot hmm. when you read in the bible that his last treasurer betrayed him don't just say god give me money find out what the treasurer did not do because god is still looking for treasurers his last one disappointed him and if you come and say lord i want to be your treasurer make sure you are not judas again can i tell you go and learn all the greek and the hebrew you can learn 
if your heart condition is wrong you will be surprised how you will know so much and yet doors of ministry will not open go and try to know all the connections of men go and learn the principles go and receive different anointing oils from men of god and pour it at once on your head because of how determined you are to carry the anointing and you will be shocked you will only look like a herbalist nothing absolutely nothing will stay there because your heart condition please do not forget this jeremiah 17 from verse 9 and 10 the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know it any man including joshua selman the heart of man is desperately deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it verse 10 please read together if you're a christian and you can see it are you ready one to read i the lord search the heart i try the reins even to give every man according to what not according to his begging not according to his desire according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings let me tell you sincerely believers i have had the honor and the privilege of talking with the fathers of faith in this nation and across a few other nations i've had the honor of learning wisdom from several people i can tell you behind the giant genuine exploits that you see is a heart that is broken humble malleable before the god of heaven when people say great people are proud i say compared to what someone can bring me a cup of water now and based on someone's mindset this is pride why didn't i go and carry it myself so when people say people are proud i say based on what standard you have to look at where the person is standing first you can meet someone washing my clothes now and say it's pride what is it about washing that you <laughs> ah! believers please go for a retreat use this conference and go it's an advice go for a retreat in that retreat don't put your hand in your pocket lie on the ground flat carry your certificate carry your bible carry your ministry csc document and say lord i hand everything over to you if you do not help me i don't know what tendencies are in my heart carry your business your company whatever it is your accolades and cry before god and he will come to you and say because you have shown me that your heart is right let's go and i'm telling you it will look like you held a charm in one month god can open doors for you in a way that will surprise you i know what i am saying has someone learned anything so whilst you are seated before i just wrap up and touch on the remaining and then we pray wherever you are you're going to lay your hand as, on your chest as a point of contact and cry before the God of heaven. Lord, I am not ashamed. Check my heart. You want to kneel down? You want to stand? Please. It's, it's a moment of genuine repentance and soul searching. Cry before the Lord. I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend Help me find the way Bring me back to you
tendency so God the arm of the Lord is not too short to open up doors or to lift you in business in politics in ministry it is a state of your heart that circumcision someone is praying nothing to be ashamed of Someone is praying. Let it be from the depth of your heart. This I know about God. Take my heart and mold. Take my mind. Transform me. Will you take my will? Conform me to your, to your, oh Lord. Take my. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, praise the name of the Lord. Please bring out three people for me right now. I just saw fire just moving, and because of this prayer of brokenness, there is an anointing, particularly one of them. That, that grace is an evangelistic dimension but it does not look like it yet because you are still in the place of prayer three of them I'm stretching my hands now the power of God will come on them one of them will even start running please hold them and bring them out here 
as I share with you the other principles. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I truly cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords. Of lords, you are the King. Of kings, you are the Lord. Of lords, your glorious majesty. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number seven and I'm seeing a mantle for restoration. It's coming on seven people. Bring, bring them out too. Seven. For one of them, several things have gone wrong in your life and family. You are not directly in ministry, but I'm seeing this anointing. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I speak by the Spirit of God. Please help our mother. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Restoration. May that mantle come upon you. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with song of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak say i am strong in the strength hallelujah who is that your doom I'm hearing the name Abiodu. Is there someone carrying that name? Abiodu. Abiodu. The Abiodu I'm seeing is wearing a black suit. Is there someone like that? Abiodu. You are wearing a suit. What's your name, sir? Just verify first. What's your name, sir? Abiodu. You, you are a member here? You came for this meeting. You believe in Jesus. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You believe that God can lift you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus, I command this wicked spirit that has tied you down and tied your destiny down to give way now. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. My friend, look at me shout jesus as loud as you can i just saw an anointing take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same again madam the lord is saying i should tell you i don't know who this woman is but in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's restoring the month of april is your month god is bringing strange restoration even by the spirit of god 
is there someone called Caleb I'm hearing a name Caleb 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 there is a woman here the name of your son is Caleb who is that Caleb huh? can can you help us with the mic oh you came here because of Caleb is it technical help huh? We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. For you are highly lifted up for some God. Mama, please stand up. Are you a member of this church? You can, what's wrong with Caleb? Caleb used to be very, very devoted to God. I sent him to Canada. I don't understand what's happening to his face. As I speak to you, he has blocked my line. You see, my dear people, hear me. There is no limit. One communication of the prophetic with balance is about to save this woman and save her child right now. Now, but hear me. This is the warning. Because many of us, when God begins to use us like this, back to my prior discussion. I am a man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. It is that pride and, and lack of brokenness that stops God from advancing with his grace and gift upon our lives. There is nothing extraordinarily I'm doing here. You see, look at this woman. How can I stand here and come and sit and know that a woman is suffering with a... Now imagine this woman came for a minister's conference and she believed that she came for her son. How in the world can I know that her son is in Canada? I've never met you. I don't even know who this woman is. Man of God, this is how far God can take you when you become broken enough. This has nothing to do with being an apostle or prophet or whatever. No, it is how far God is willing to solve the problems of people. Now, let me ask you a question. Is Jesus glorified in this process? Because if this same woman comes with that her son, Caleb, and holds him, that boy is in Canada. Mama is here, but you can see her crying because of the pain. This is what should happen in church. That people should come and know that they met Jesus. Jesus glorified. More than a man of God being glorified. Question, how do you have empty pews under this condition? Mama, in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, you will never forget this conference for what God will do. I release that grace upon you. Out the spirit that is at work in Caleb that will not allow him to serve God. By the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare right now here at this conference we declare restoration for caleb yeah. hallelujah ik i think your name is ik now but they call you ik ik for short I have just a few minutes. Is there someone like that? I.K. Where are you? You love Jesus? God is going to use you, but there is a lot of work that God needs to do with you, my friend. Huh? Don't be embarrassed there. Eh? This is a minister's conference. Our father here too? Your son is I.K. No problem. I'll pray with you. That's all right. Please just leave them. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? No, I mean state of origin. I want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of Christ, tying down your destiny, must give way. Daddy, please place your hand on your chest. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down. High blood pressure. This is BP. Is that true? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. It's going down now. There is a name above every other name. 
look at our father at this age this man is crying ah. Ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be adored. Daddy, please do not cry. Honestly, I feel so touched. Someone, please help this man with. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, sir. Standing in faith with the grace upon the man of God, and I declare first for your BP. High blood pressure goes down now. Are we agreeing with this man? It goes down now. And I pray for your son, I.K. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be your desire. Where is he? What does he do? He's working with. He's working at home. He's working with a company. I'm seeing God. That gentleman is going to be a big businessman. You see, I don't know, but I'm seeing the name Onicha. You see that name on each other god is going to connect him to someone within that place let him not fight it when it happens there is a hand of god that has gone before him in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead let it be so in jesus name i pray please sit down in one minute huh? okay this gentleman let me pray for you you see you are as good as your friends you are as born again as your friends if you are born again and your friends are not very serious it will eventually affect you are we together i'm speaking in parables you hear what i'm saying my friend don't be there's no such thing as we're classmates we grew up together you must get to a point in your life where anybody who is not pro kingdom in your life they must remain at the arms of god you must culture your relationships if you intend to be serious with god father help your son in the name of jesus christ let that grace rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let God raise the rest of you. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. The cry of a baby. Is there someone here who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb? I'm hearing the cry of a baby. This is what I'm hearing in my ears. Look at this. Help her. My God. You will be surprised to see what the God of heaven. Shalina haske de branda gaduzi atala kusi akrahasta. All of you who are coming, except if you are standing for someone, but please make sure you are married. Otherwise, go back to your seat. Praise the name of the Lord. You are trusting God for a baby. Madam, shout Jesus. My sister, look at me. Lift your hands. Shout the name Jesus. Just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. That demon, haras kudeba shalanda kapose diat abarasudia, keres kudi mahashalabada kasudia. My friend, look at me. This man, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, I correct what the doctors have told you is stopping fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to believe in the power that is in the name of Jesus. The Lord will surprise you. Take your eyes away from the medical report and trust the Lord. Just believe what I'm asking you to do. My sister, this lady, I'm seeing fire coming on you. This is what I'm seeing now. And I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Now in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let that demonic thing leave you now. 
I want to pray for all of you because I had the cry of a baby the power of God will come upon you as I pray for you father every legal access that the devil has over their fruitfulness that will not allow you to enjoy the blessings of fruitfulness right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare release them now 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 release them now now release them now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare to you like Eli spoke over Hannah according to the time of life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God according to the time of life let there be fruitfulness for you now help this man help this man in the name of Jesus fruitfulness now your name is to be hallowed. I declare to you, as you have come out, you will come out again. But this time you will not be alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, that woman there, is it for yourself or for someone else? Huh? This woman for my daughter what where is she she's in data state mama i will pray with you but lay hand on your own stomach the miracle is for you first there is something god wants to take out of your stomach is that true huh yes sir have you gone to the hospital for it i will pray with you in the name of jesus let her go now release mama now by the power of the holy spirit even before I pray for your daughter, I'm praying for you. They will not tell you something is growing in your stomach that requires surgery. I command it to go now. Be released right now. And we pray for your daughter. Even as you have stood in for her, let there be supernatural correction right now. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Return to your seat rejoicing. Spare me 10 minutes and we're done. Please sit down. Five requirements for effective ministry. Five requirements for effective ministry. Number one, every ministry, particularly the fivefold now, but it extends every facet of ministry every ministry that will excel in today's world every ministry that will thrive and represent the purposes of God must have these five pillars if they are not there you cannot have fruitful ministry number one a mandate or a message every ministry that must excel must have a mandate and have a ministry a, a message many preachers have messages many preachers have series but you must have a mandate and a message that becomes the dimension of god committed to you your mandate in that universal plan there is a mandate apportioned to you if you are oral robots your assignment is to take the healing power of jesus to the nations if you are reinhard bonke of blessed memory your mandate is to bring the healing and the saving grace of Jesus to Africa. There must be a mandate that drives your life. John 3, 16. Jesus himself was speaking to Nicodemus and he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have life everlasting. Very clear, very simple. Most people do not have the message. Acts chapter 2 and verse 36 your message is very very powerful because that is where your value comes from can I tell you it is the message that makes the messenger powerful the messenger is not independently powerful he is as powerful as his message therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly 
that God had made the same Jesus whom ye have crucified both Lord and Christ simple message in one sentence do you have a mandate and the message every church every pastor every apostle every prophet in as much as generally speaking we have a corporate agenda of revealing and glorifying Jesus but there are dimensions to that call and there has to be a clear definition just help those under the anointing you see this is why you find out that many people are many things according to circumstances the man can stay today and find out that the evangelistic seems to be most marketable and he becomes an evangelist then he finds out that the pandemic has really stopped crusades and quickly switch to prophecies because you can do one on one and then all kinds of things this 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 confusion around the body of Christ is because there is no mandate can I tell you every church including this must have what the Bible calls the things that are most surely believed among us if this is a healing ministry then I expect that the greatest conviction you should have should be along the area of the power of God to heal. If it's a ministry that has been mandated to raise people financially as a contribution to the larger picture, you should not have members doubting the God who can supply. Luke chapter 4, when you look chapter 1, when you read from verse 1 to 4, right? He was speaking to Theophilus, Dr. Luke, and he said that the things that are most surely believed among us everybody said the mandate can i tell you every attack on a man of god every attack on a minister is an attack on the message it is not an attack on you help him please the goal of every attack it does not matter in what dimension it comes when satan attacks you every attack has one singular assignment to discredit the message and the mandate so that your voice will no longer be heard You protect your ministry by protecting the message the apostle said this is the message we have received from the beginning we were given a message as ye go preach saying go with that message the signs will follow the message the mandate are we blessed your message also defines your unique contribution to the body of Christ everybody cannot be everything no matter how yielded you are you must be able to brand your impact with your message your message is what brands you your impact very quickly number two the second requirement when you sort the issue of your mandate is the vehicle or the strategy that will drive that message the vehicle or the strategy that will drive that message that means is that message going to be driven using the pulpit is it going to use business the geography of your witness can i tell you it's not enough to know your message you must know the vehicle and the strategy that will drive that message that's where we talk about the concept of the seven mountains the mountain of religion family politics business education media arts and entertainment these seven mountains they represent the platforms where you can stand upon to make sure that that mandate is heard very important most people have a clear message but they do not understand that until you have a strategy a vehicle in this case now the pulpit the pulpit is the strategy or one of the strategies and the vehicles given to the man of God to communicate that prophetic dimension that God has given him number three very quickly what do you need for effective ministry an organized platform you need an organized platform you need an organized platform it's not enough to know you are sent to business 
you are sent to the fivefold ministry there has to be an organized platform that brands your impact are we together look at me when you hear holy ghost congress what comes to your mind when you hear shiloh what comes to your mind when you hear power must change hands what comes to your mind do you ever confuse it because more than the mandate there is an organized platform that brands your impact when you hear coca-cola do you think of uh, what other huh? do you think of pepsi no they are all watches but when you hear a rolex watch you don't think of others because they brand themselves when you think adidas what do you think of you see isn't that interesting that adidas has nothing to do with football yet when you call adidas it is football you think about and yet they are a clothing line because they want they knew that their greatest sales will come from that area and so they connected their relevance to football so every time you call adidas look up please whenever you want to go and buy seasoning most times what do you say you are buying whenever you want to buy toothpaste what do you say you are buying oh so you know this here too that is the power of an organized platform there are many people today can i tell you this if you want to be relevant in ministry make sure that as you rise your platform rises too it is the mistake that was made with the west and the reason is because of other issues like taxation finance and the rest so they have personal ministry you'll be surprised now don't feel embarrassed oh, no i shouldn't say this i'm on life but you see there are times that you can know a man of god and not even know the name of his church is that true but you see the danger with that kind of setting is you cannot reproduce your results you can't raise other people the job of a platform is to allow for continuity beyond you are we together now apostle babalola is long gone yet the platform of cac still continues to raise men is that true an organized platform number three number four i wrote here that And verse 20 divine backing is the sixth divine backing and they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following confirming the word with signs following Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20 still on divine backing still on divine backing Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 Matthew 28 20 teaching them to observe you 
is with you divine presence and that backing how do i sit down for instance and say there is somebody called caleb do you know that level of risk imagine if every case i called here nobody came out imagine if i said the power of god will come on you and the person is looking at me you are enjoying it because you see it happening and you see the results you see and this is not just the issue of faith this is an issue of trust because there is a history to it your faith can graduate to trust when you keep archiving the history of god's faithfulness the time comes you know because it is true what you know because there is a track record are we together but right now god is going to tell you after this meeting to try it too and <laughs> <laughs> and many of you are going to make mistakes that will surprise you you will leave a meeting you were invited in as if you came for a funeral don't worry be very honest and you are not you are not a habalist so learn with honor they will hear john and you will say john the person will say my name is james not john how about your third child who say i'm not even married And members can give you a look that are you sent who brought this man here don't worry it's better to train yourself and fail with honor so that the day you get it those who laughed at you will be witnesses and say we knew when he was in the school of the spirit say divine backing every time we travel we travel knowing that there is a hand that backs us as i stand here i know that there is a hand that backs and defends me this is why when we speak we know that you will return with testimonies for instance like this woman that the hand of god is touching this mama you this one lifting her hand i'm seeing oil coming on her head right now this woman you see now you imagine this how do you take that kind of risk something is coming on you in the name of Jesus Christ that others who saw you will say is Saul also one of the prophets and I'm prophesying to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead every ability that has functioned on this altar by the man of God by myself and every other man of God who has been here and will be here this combined graces may it rest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ Please hear me now I want to give you one last key one last key the last key that I will leave with you if you truly want to break through in ministry is the power of sacrifice Psalm 50 verse 5 I'm not necessarily talking about money don't frown just listen gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me whether you serve satan or you serve god sacrifice will be required somewhere my sister i'm seeing a hand come on this lady and the lord is saying he's opening a new chapter that lady help her in the name of jesus christ now please pay attention our time is up sacrifice the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your life you will never effectively do ministry when you want to be everywhere can i tell you ask the man of god when you answer the call of god upon your life there are things that you have given up as a sacrifice now our generation with an appetite you cannot you cannot i'm not please don't feel bad you can't be traveling every time to go and watch Manchester football in the stadium there and you are an apostle and you are an evangelist. Thank God for it. Maybe when you are on vacation, but you cannot have the passion of a footballer and have the grace of a man of God. It does not work that way. You cannot give God part-time commitment and get full-time anointing. Now, this is the part that most people do not want. You pray for 10 minutes, 
pray for five minutes study your bible carelessly for two minutes and you want god to trust you with the grace and the unction for nations it does not work that way say the power of sacrifice i beseech you brethren romans 12 verse 1 by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies unto god holy and acceptable he says a, a, a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God he calls it your reasonable act of service or worship verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed it takes time to know God it takes time to learn doctrine it takes time to study the materials of those who have gone ahead of you it takes time to be consistent with the Holy Spirit there are times God will ask you to lock yourself and for a day, two days, three days. There, you see, this is our generation of preachers don't know anything about retreating yourself to flog it up with God. People fast by 12, they are shaking as if they are, they are, they are on, 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 a, um, 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 on drip or emergency or something like that. Can I tell you, don't let anyone fool you. There are impartations from men of God, but there are wells you must dig by yourself. I can assure you on that if you want the anointing you must be willing to lay down you cannot get the anointing without laying down something when Elijah wanted to command fire from heaven the prophets of Baal as they kept calling Baal and he refused to come they started lacerating one another that was the last card to call him they blood 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 out of their body they understood something about the relationship between fire and sacrifice are we together when it was now time for Elijah to bring it he set 12 stones the covenant and he puts a sacrifice on the altar and he said pour water on it he said God the stage is set and fire came down if you become that fire and that sacrifice then you are ready for the anointing most people are not ready for the anointing they are ready for the excitement that the anointing brings they are ready for the honor that the anointing brings can i tell you genuine mantle and genuine fire comes at the instance of sacrifice i have not really had the time in all fairness i will tell you to properly sleep in days now i have my way of just working things out we were just discussing i think it was yesterday and i was just thinking to myself the man of god was saying he's traveling to this um dr lumide was saying he's traveling and, and you just think about this and you're saying whoever told people that ministry is for lazy people they think all it takes is just preach sit down in the office take coffee while people just stream in with dollars and honorarium whoever gave you that narrative is destroying you at least when you are employed by the government you have your time seven to five or four whatever time after that they don't have a right to disturb you without rewarding you but there are times on earth that both god and men need your attention if men allow you rest god can say wake up two o'clock and you are moving around your house as if you're a madman for a burden that is not your business you are moving around because a disobedient member is getting into trouble and god is waking you up to midwife that trouble are you ready for the pain of ministry they met jesus and said we want to sit down at your left and right and he asked them a question can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism this is the last prayer point and i'm done you are going to lay hands on your head and say lord whatever price it takes to obtain the anointing and the grace for my generation for this season for my season of advancement and relevance I obtain great your place in business find your place in ministry if it is the prophetic find it now the apostolic find it now the pastoral find it now let me pray over your finances please look up there are many dimensions to wealth and abundance principally it comes through your value packaged to products and services and served with excellence to a targeted consumer base that's what you call business 
but there are other dimensions to it value relationships laws of increase but to the believer we are not left without an advantage there is the prophetic dimension of wealth wealth by the finger of god he said believe in the lord your god so shall he be established believe in his prophets so shall you prosper i want to speak over your life please believe it March, I stand by the mantle of God upon my life and I decree and declare may the heavens be open over you financially may the heavens be open over you financially in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like help that lady please my God we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he said the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead every captivity help that lady please i turn it around right now 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 Go and prosper, prosper in ministry. Go and prosper, prosper in business. Go and prosper, prosper in family. Go and prosper, prosper in career. Go and prosper, prosper in this city. I command Lagos to be open for you now. And let me pray over every member of this great assembly serving with joy serving with passion for the bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages in the name of jesus christ i decree and i prophesy i use this as a point of contact to all the branches across the world connecting by faith the global family of this vision i decree and declare rise to a new dimension I declare advancement for you in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father I pray that your people will never be the same go from glory to glory Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.